as we approach the middle part of July and especially as we go on into August, we'll probably hear from uh, our weatherman those four little words that most Oklahomans really just as soon not hear, and that's high pressure heat dome. And that's the time, of course, when uh, we'll have those very, very warm temperatures day after day after day, uh, high 90s approaching 100 degrees, and nighttime lows but may be only down to about 80 degrees. That's a time when basically our cattle out in pastures are experiencing some level of heat stress. And that's important from the standpoint of especially reproduction. We know from research that's been done that heat stressed bulls will have a pretty substantial decrease in semen quality and therefore their ability to get cows bred. On the female side, work done here at Oklahoma State University back in the 80s showed that heat stressed heifers or cows that had recently been bred showed a severe reduction in embryo survival, especially within that first week to two weeks after being bred. Well, you combine those two situations and you see why having a breeding season that extends into July and August is pretty counterproductive. That explains to me why here in Oklahoma or across most of the Southern Plains, we choose to have our breeding season in May and June and have it pretty well wrapped up by the 1st of July or have a fall breeding season that may start somewhere around Thanksgiving or the first part of December and go uh, December into January. That way we're avoiding this particular time of the year that seems to be so devastating to conception rates when we have those really high temperatures day after day and our nighttime lows never get down enough for the animal to really cool off and get uh, back to sub uh, that heat stress situation. I think you want to keep that in mind as you're uh, thinking about breeding seasons for your herd. We want to avoid this real hot part of the summertime because it will have an adverse effect on conception rates year after year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner.